Alright, hi everyone. In this video we're going to be looking at how we draw really clear and careful ray diagrams from the light box. So the first thing we need to do is to actually identify how to use our light box. You'll see it's got two sides. It's got one side where you can see the globe really clearly and if you turn it all the way over it's got another side which has a lens in it. When you're doing work with rays you want to use the lens end. So that's the first thing you need to know is always use the side with the lens. That's the side that you want to use. And you'll see it's got slots in it. Oh, no, sorry. Over here. So it's got some slots in it and those slots we're going to place some of these things in. So you'll see these are just little um, slots that have been made that will allow us to have a single beam over here or we can have three beams. We're just going to use a single beam so that's the one we're going to use first. Alright so here we are again and I've got my light box on. It's on 12 volts. I've got it plugged into the DC and as you can see I've got the single slot covering up the light and it's producing a beautiful single beam there. I'm now going to use one of the mirrors that we have. Here we are here. And it's just a plain mirror that looks like that. I'm going to place the plain mirror so that I get a reflection. And as you can see, we've got a nice clear reflection. What I want to show you is how to actually really accu accurately draw the ray diagrams. You should also be able to see straight away is that the beam here is quite strong, but the reflected beam is looking quite weak. And the second thing you should be able to see is that the incident beam looks quite fine, but the reflected beam is starting to broaden out a bit. And that's because we actually aren't very good at producing a really tight beam with these light boxes. Even though it's got a lens, it still produces quite a broad beam. So let's have a look at how we draw up a really careful ray diagram. Okay, so here we are, and now we're going to try and draw a really careful ray diagram. So the first thing I want to do is put my hand on the mirror, and I'm going to use a very fine pacer lead pencil to draw a really careful line of the surface. Now I want to identify where the rays are coming in and out, and the best way to do that is just to draw a single dot, almost as carefully centered as you can, one two and then on the reflected ray one two trying to place that dot in exactly the center of my ray okay all right so here we are again and I've got the points that I made in my last video and I'm now going to try to draw them together to show the ray that was incoming or the incident ray which should do something like this and then my reflected ray which should pass through these two points here. Now what you can see is if you're looking carefully my points are lined up but my ray isn't coming in exactly at this point here and that shows us the sort of errors that we're going to see. It is actually very very difficult to draw points exactly in the center of the rays and if we don't get that right we're going to end up with a little bit of error here and that's what we can see with that slight gap there. The other thing that we need to do is draw a normal to the surface. <coughs> so, and I really should have a set square for this. And I'm trying to draw my normal so it's equidistant between where the two points start. And then I need to measure those angles as accurately as I possibly can. <coughs> 